the mainstream media and Westerners are crying because there are less Chinese travelers in their countries. The question is, where have all the Chinese travelers gone? Watch this video. If you look around, notice anything on this? It's the lack of Chinese travelers, and the case of the missing Chinese tourists is not just limited to the U.S. It's also being found everywhere from Parisian boutiques. It's causing the world travel economy $130 billion. Let this be a lesson to the Western mainstream media and to all these anti-China groups. If you play with the Chinese people, they simply enjoy their own country, their own lifestyle, their own things. And so, by the way, the friendly countries towards China are the ones that are building strong ties, strong economic ties, and also prosperous years to come. The betting chips of the Western world is very wrong towards China, and they're starting to feel it. First of all, that's hilarious to me because, you see... The Western mainstream media and the anti-China groups are lying about China. They say the Chinese are too poor to travel. You know, I want to break it down to you real quick. That there are millions and millions of Chinese traveling around the world yearly. And now these Westerners and this Western mainstream media outlets are crying about it because they are losing a lot of money from the poor Chinese people. So it's better to push your old lie by saying, see, they are not allowed to have any passports, the Chinese people, that is. But no, they are crying, and they want to blame China now for not making money off of the 1.4 billion people. It is hilarious, in my opinion. But the real question is, where are the Chinese travelers? Well, here it is, my friends. You see, the Chinese people have a big country. This place is astronomically big. And they travel domestically because, number one, it's safer. If you go to America, there's anti-Asian hate, anti-Chinese hate over there. It's much more safer to travel in your own country and enjoy your own country's food, the people around you, and amazing places to visit. You don't need to go see Philadelphia, Los Angeles, New York, where there's homeless people all over. These people can go to Xinjiang, they can go to Beijing, they can go to Hainan, which is a tropical island. These people have everything right here in their country. That is where they are. And now they see the power of 1.4 billion people.